Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on my tutorials in quantum statistics. This is video number 42 and this is the also part of my sub videos called density of states. This is number 7 on that. Uh, I have continued this, I've continued other videos in between 6 and 7. So that's why this is actually video number 42. Uh, my website is universityphysicstutorials.com. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because all my density of states videos uh, show were, were for periodic boundary conditions. And I don't, in my next few videos, I don't want to use periodic boundary conditions. So we need to solve the Schrodinger equation again, but apply not, not uh, would say, periodic boundary conditions which are not periodic. So the time independent Schrodinger equation is minus h bar squared over 2m uh, del 2 psi del x squared plus v of x psi is equal to e times psi. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to assume the potential is zero. Alright, so look, this is pretty straightforward, but the boundary conditions are that psi of x is equal to 0 is equal to 0, and psi of x is equal to L is equal to 0. So we're saying the wave function must come to 0 at the, at the boundaries. So let's go ahead and solve this. It becomes minus h bar squared over 2m. Psi double prime is equal to e psi. Okay, so let k squared it's equal to 2me over h bar squared and if we do that we get that psi double prime plus 2me over h bar squared psi is equal to zero now if you don't know how to solve this look at my videos on solving uh, the, the differential equations you find that this is pretty straightforward it has solutions a uh, cos and sine so it means the wave function in one dimension is a cos kx plus b sine kx. So if we apply our boundary conditions applying x is equal to 0 we find that, that a must be equal to 0. That means the psi must be equal to b cos, oh, excuse me, b sine kx. Next we apply that psi of l is equal to 0 is equal to b sine uh, kl. The only way this can happen of course is that kl is equal to n pi or that we have k is equal to uh, pi over l times n. Or in my previous notation, it would be pi over a times n. And note, of course, the difference between this and my previous videos where the, the, that we had periodic boundary conditions was there was a factor of 2. So this time we actually have half the number of states in k space. All right, so that's, that's pretty important. Now, finally, and this is, the, this is the way I'm going to be doing it, so we know that k is equal to pi over l times n all right in, in one dimension but i want to put it in terms of the wavelength so by the de broglie wavelength uh, de broglie relationship we know that it's h over p like that okay and we know that p is equal to h bar k all right so that means we can rewrite the momentum in terms of the quantum number so we have n h bar over l times pi like that okay or what we can write is that lambda sub n is equal to twice L over n, if you want to put it that way. Alright, that's just another way of, of writing it. So this formula here is the one I'm going to be using in the next videos for the Planck distribution. It shows the allowed mode of a, of a particle's wave function in a 1D box where the potential function is zero. So, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And you might also visit universityphysicstutorial.com.